What is going on guys, Jay's Two Cents here, bringing you a product, uh, kind of more of an overview rather than a full like in-depth every product feature review here of the ASRock G10 AC 2600 gaming router. Now I know some folks get really mad when they put the word gaming in something that has to do with wireless. It tends to really make a lot of people angry, whether it be mouse, keyboard, or router. But at least we're gonna talk about this today. I'm gonna show you how I plan on using it to increase the wireless here in my house and uh, then you guys can hopefully make a decision about whether or not this product is right for you. The Mastercase 5 and Mastercase 5 Pro from Cooler Master combines modularity with creativity, giving you the freedom to build it your way. Make it yours by clicking the link down in the description. All right, so here it is right here, and as you can see, it is a piano finish, which unfortunately you guys know I hate. You can already see there's fingerprints all over it simply because I've been getting myself acquainted with it, and it already looks very smudgy and greasy, and I just cleaned my hands. It's, it's something I'm always going to give negative points for anything that has a piano finish like this, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna attract dust, it's gonna attract fingerprints, and when you wipe that clean, it's gonna start to get micro swirl scratches in here, and it's going to look terrible, please. For the love of God, if you're watching and you manufacture routers or a device, period, monitors, keyboards, whatever, no more piano finishes. We need textured plastic. It will always look better in the long run. This is, this is, I'm always going to knock points off for this. I'm sorry. That's subjective. I, I know, but I just, I hate piano mirror, you know, polish finish on plastic. But with that out of the way, here is the device right here. And as you can see, it looks a lot like a PS4. It really does. Now you're not going to be able to mount this flat. Uh, if you wanted to put it like on your desk or something, it has to go upright. You can't even wall mount it. They, I think they really dropped the ball on that one. Wall mounting this would have been a big deal because it has to go upright anyway. But the reason why it has to go upright is there's eight antennas in here giving, uh, you know, obviously giving you connectivity to the wide spectrum, 2.4 gigahertz, 800 megabit per second connection, and the five gigahertz wireless AC, 1733 megabit connection over the five gigs, which is a big deal. And they advertise this as being the world's fastest 4T, 4R, uh, 802.11 AC router. Now, I don't know how long that's gonna be true. I don't even have a way to test if that's true, uh, but I can tell you right now that they're advertising this as being extremely fast. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this review uh, is because I plan on using this, as you guys know, as part three of my wireless video that I talked about here in the new house is using this to extend my five gigahertz coverage here in the house. Now 2.4 coverage here isn't too, too bad. It does drop off a bit towards the front of the house because the router that I have now is all the way in the back of the house. But I plan on using this to try and get good coverage downstairs uh, on the five gigahertz spectrum. I want to get five gigahertz coverage if I can because it's so much faster than 2.4. Now this is a Moo Mimo router, which is a multi-user, multi-input, multi-output. Uh, and you've got two USB 3.0 plugs right here on the back which is gonna allow you to hook up wireless USB drives that you can have movies on and music and stuff and access over your entire network, as well as two IR transmit uh, lenses right here on the back, which are gonna allow you to use the ASRock app to learn the IR function of your remotes, and then your router through the software can actually control many of your devices, like your TVs and smart appliances and things from anywhere within the network without even being in line of sight of those products, as long as the router itself is in line of sight. Um, unfortunately, those are on the back of the router. So unless these things are putting off a ton of intensity on that IR spectrum and it's bouncing off all the walls to allow you to connect your devices, um, being on the back might limit some of the connectivity you have to the device or the appliance that this thing is hoping to control. Now on the top right here, you've also got held in there by a magnet. This, uh, they, they say that this is, this is a free like addition. I think it's part of the router obviously because it's you know designed to sit right in there. This is their wireless dongle and it has two purposes. One, you can, it's HDMI right here on the end and on the other side it's US, micro USB for power as well as RJ45 ethernet here. Um, this allows you to connect this to any TV or, US, or HDMI connected device. Uh, plug in power to USB, it includes a cable for that. And then you can easy cast whatever you are displaying on your smart device, like your tablet or your uh, smartphone, onto the HDMI input that this is connected to onto your big screen TV. So you can be playing mobile games and then have them casted right on to the TV, which is kind of neat. But from what I understand, I haven't actually tried this myself yet. I, wanna, I might do a separate video on this. But from what I understand, it's really picky and finicky to set up 
uh, which uh, is why I want to kind of do this in a separate video rather than making this one, you know, 20 minutes long or whatever it might end up being. But the dual purpose of this too, though, is with the RJ45 on the back, if you go to say a hotel or something that doesn't have wireless, or maybe it has really spotty wireless, but it does have access to an RG45 port. I said, sound like I said RG, RJ45 port. You can plug this into the access port for the hotel room, or again, wherever you may be. And then this becomes a wireless access point itself using the application from ASRock. You can then use this as your wireless uh, access and get online. Uh, much easier that way. So it's kind of neat that they include that. We'll have to test that out in the future and see how well it works, uh, but it is something that I wanted to mention. On the front of the router right here, it has one giant LED that changes color and blinks in certain fashions to give you different sorts of indication of the status of the router. That is a disappointment to me because one of the things I really like uh, about the router that I currently use is it's got an array of LEDs and I can always see what the different statuses are of whatever I want. I want to know the status of the 2.4 gigs wireless, the 5 gig wireless. I want to know the status of the um, network, the, you know, the intranet, and I want to know the status of the actual internet connection. It's all happening independently so I can monitor all of that. Not have to wait for a series of flashes and functions and color changes to try and figure out what's going on. And then look at the LEDs and try to remember what yellow meant and what red meant and have to look up the manual. It's much better to just have the LEDs down the front with a label next to each one and call it a day. I get that they're trying to make this minimalistic, but I think they really missed a mark on that one. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this thing up to my internet here. I'm going to set this up as a wireless access point to my current network by hooking an RJ45 into the back of one of the LAN ports, and then we're gonna set this up as a, uh, like I said, an extender, basically, for my wireless, and see how well the actual wireless strength on this thing works. Transition. So what I'm doing here right now is I've actually just taken my router, unplugged my PC from my working switch I have in this office because I have more than one PC in here, so I needed a switch. And I have my computer connected to the router only. Now I've logged into the router and I have copied down all of the SSID settings, uh, all of the uh, security uh, encryption type, the security password, and all of that stuff and moved that over into the wireless settings here on the ASRock. So what that means is they are the same on both my master and my slave routers. Now the other thing you're gonna to have to do is go in here and disable DHCP because we don't want this router handling DHCP. We want that handed off to the main router. That way we have no conflicts and we have one nice simple gateway that's gonna be handled for everything. So it's pretty easy to actually set up that wireless. Now one way you can verify that the settings have actually taken place and, ha and has worked is you can look at the wireless SSIDs that are being broadcasted before you start and you'll notice that uh, on the ASRock anyway, it has an, had an ASRock 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless that was being broadcasted. And once I made these changes, that's gone, that disappeared. I'm only seeing one uh, SSID that matches the one that I had already existing and have now copied over to here. Now I can see that I have an ASRock 5 gigahertz band that's showing, so I need to do the same thing for the 5 gigahertz and then reboot the router. Once that's done, what we basically do is then put everything back to the way I had it, and then we can start moving this router around the house and seeing what's actually happening here with our wireless connection. Now the way that this is gonna work best is by having an ethernet plugged into the wireless or to the router. That way this router becomes a wired access point uh, giving us extended range on our wireless, which is the whole point of having a second router or wireless router as an access point. Now I know there's a lot of ways that we could have done this. I know I could have found some um, you know, PoE or power over ethernet um, you know, access points that literally just plug into the ethernet and call it a day. But I would have had to have purchased those and I already had this. So I'm making do with what I already have. Plus I can see if all of the five gigahertz strength that this thing is advertising is all it's cracked up to be. So right now I've got the ASRock uh, modem rebooting and there's no more uh, ASRock uh, wireless networks that are showing up. Only the SSIDs that I already had set up. Now well, the idea here is that by this being wired into the ethernet and having identical settings to the master router here is it's going to basically seamlessly hand off to whichever router has the best signal as you move around the house. Now the best part of this being uh, you know, set up the way it is, is I can try different rooms of the house that have ethernet plugs inside the rooms and see which is giving me the best coverage. Now, of course, I have to make sure I have power in there and an ethernet cable, and my office right here might be the best room, so we're gonna be playing around with that and seeing exactly how well that works out. 
Now one last setting that you have to make sure is correct on here is that the default gateway or the IP address of the router is actually on the same gateway as the main router. For instance, as you know, most routers have used 192.168.1.1, 192.168.0.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.
is actually getting us pretty good connection. But what I noticed is moving around the house, it does hand off, obviously, which is what I wanted. I wanted the two routers to work in conjunction with each other to give me the best coverage I could possibly have anywhere inside this house. Now, there are a lot of reviews out there that go much more in depth into the software coverage of this router. It's definitely worth taking a look at. I know a lot of gamers get really upset when they feel like they're branded too with the word gaming of things that typically wouldn't be gaming. I think, I think one comment I saw when I showed this router was like, what's next, gaming printers? And it's like, you know, maybe. But tell me what you guys think about this router. Um, Azrock's stepping into the router game, so it's a, only time will tell if this is a space that's worthwhile for them to be in. It's, it's, it's a very saturated space. I mean, you've got Asus that's doing it, Netgear, Linksys. Um, there, there are just so many brands out there that are actually doing wireless solutions now. Um, it's, it's making me wonder if the whole gaming branding of a router really makes any sort of a difference. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Uh, down in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. I've got some cool things coming up here. I'm, the, the gaming rig, the simulator is back in the house. I can't wait to start playing some more uh, iRacing and project cars and stuff like that. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. I know it was a little bit like kind of kind of chaotic and, and sort of like pieced together, um, but it's the, the best I could really do today. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, we will see you in the next video.